when you wake up to a day like today, you're largely focused on growth stage venture investments. There are different factors you're tracking, but how do you react? How does it make you approach your day-to-day -day work? The, the short answer is, is that on a day-to-day -day basis, the fluctuations and volatility in the public market don't really impact the late stage private market where we focus. There's obviously implications if this persists when it comes to exit opportunity with uh, respect to IPOs and valuation concerns, but the day-to-day -day volatility doesn't really impact the late stage private market unless it sustains. And when you look at uh, AI, you know, some of the, uh, a good portion of the pain we're seeing right now is in the AI stock space. Does that inform how you look at AI investing when it comes to late stage growth investing in artificial intelligence? Again, I, I wouldn't characterize the public markets as having a huge implication in the short term on the late stage private market. But I would say, you know, with respect to AI, you kind of have to think about and address two questions. Question number one is, is AI a transformational shift in technology platforms? You kind of have to answer that. And then the second question I think you have to answer is kind of where are you with respect to AI-based transformation or AI-led transformation? And I think those are the two questions you have to answer as a late stage private investor to think about where you should be deploying, if at all, and what the landscape looks like, not over the next month or two or quarter, but over the next multi-decade. So as you look to invest the $7.5 that you oversee in private markets, uh, where is the biggest opportunity for you right now? I mean, I think I couldn't be on this show and be talking to both of you without talking about AI and AI-led uh, disruption. When you think about fundamental transformational shifts in technology, um, we believe that AI is a disruptive technology that will be a generational shift in how technology is ultimately deployed and adopted by enterprises. But then to the second question around how are we or how far along are we in that transformation, I think we're, we're very early. And so when we think about opportunity set and we think about AI, we're long-term very bullish on the opportunity. You think shorter term and think about where we are within the, the inning, the game of AI. And given how early we are, um, I think one of the questions that we end up asking ourselves with respect to AI is, will today's winners be the winners that persist over a long time? And I think when you look historically at tech-led disruption when it comes to generational shifts like the internet, like cloud, like mobile, the early winners oftentimes are not the long-term winners who end up creating multi-billion dollar public companies. Matt, you said that near-term or, or daily volatility doesn't really impact thinking in the here and now, but it does impact sentiment towards markets. And therefore, we, we need to ask about IPOs. You know, where do you see the remainder of this year with some of the late stage companies that are waiting in the wings to go public? I mean, I think, as you've talked about through the show, Ed, the, the landscape has changed pretty dramatically over the past two days, two trading days. And um, absent those two trading days, I would have said that the IPO market is probably on the rebound, likely to start accelerating through the back half of this year and early next year. And given the noise, the volatility we're seeing today, will it cause the company that maybe is on the margin thinking, should I go public or not, to reassess and maybe delay until early next year, most likely? Um, that being said, if you go back, not over the last five or 10 years of IPO data, but if you look back at the last 50 years of IPO activity levels, generally the IPO window, in other words, the amount of IPOs coming out, tends to be dramatically below the norm or the mean for one to three years. And if you think about where we sit today, we're kind of in the middle of year three, the uh, first quarter of, U of Q3 of IPO activity being meaningfully down compared to historic periods. And so based on that, I would guess that we maybe have anywhere between zero and 12 more months before we do see a rebound in IPO activity. Okay. And we're starting to see a little bit of it today. Um, if you look back, last year we had three tech-led IPOs go public last year. This year, year-to-date, we've had five, so already at an accelerated pace. Will we take a, a pause, given what's going on today? Potentially.